Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today I thought we'd go ahead and maybe try some products out. Um, that's what I have on my face right now. So if you would like to see me uh, share some new products that I've gotten and maybe some of them I'm just trying out, keep on watching. I'm going to try out the ELF ex lip exfoliator. I just recently got it not long ago and to help exfoliate any dry skin on the lips. And I'm actually a little like, really liking it. I'm talking while I'm doing it. And then I put a lip balm on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this new primer on that I, I've been trying out. The Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and it does have a tint to it so I've been liking it so far. It's a thicker uh, consistency so I take it through my fingers like this first and then kind of just press it along here and then spread it out kind of to melt it. Melt it so it goes in. It kind of feels like a powder, a powder finish almost. Okay, I'm going to use the Smashbox palette. This one is in Golden Hour. This is the one I really like. I hate that. I feel like I got hair on. Hmm. Take a drink of my water. So there is a couple of matte shades on the top here, these longer ones. I'm going to take this one right here. It's more of a beige tone. And I'm going to put that all over on the lid and up to the brow. One of my favorite transition shades or shades to use is Cupcake from Makeup Geek. Here's Cupcake, yeah. Beautiful, like mauve -y kind of a shade. Oh, it's one, it's one of my favorites from Makeup Geek. I'm going in with this purple shade here and I'm going to use that in the inner or the outer, not inner, outer V area, kind of make a V shape, put it up here and then bring it down. This is, like I said, this color here is almost like a cranberry purple shade. I'm gonna kinda go back in Makeup Geek and kinda just get some of these harsh lines here. Smooth them out a little bit more that I got from the purpley cranberry shade. Now I'm going to take that peach kind of a shade here that I really like. This, I love this look. I think what I might do, I'm going to use my fingers first because that might make it go on a little bit more better. Okay, I'm going to take a brush here. I'm not good at telling you guys about brushes, like what one I'm using. Um, I don't know. I guess I just use my basic brushes that I have here. And I mean, like this one's from a Japanese. And it doesn't really say, I mean, it looks just like a basic shadow brush. And then I'm going to go into the plummy purple a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Kind of 
work it on over a little bit more. The other shade in here, this one right here at the top, is like a creamy white. So I'm going to put that below the brow area. Okay, I figured I didn't want you guys to have to like sit through and see me put on eyeliner as a mascara right now. Some things is like stuff I've already used and whatever. But uh, this, I used the infallible, you know, eyeliner that I've been liking. Um, my Mally's to tight line up in there. I haven't done the waterline yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. And then my fully charged, I got a little deluxe sample mascara. This is probably one of my, well, is a favorite mascara. All right, so this is going to be new to me. This is that all famous silicone uh, application that a lot of people are using for their foundation. Carol from the O'Carroll Show sent me a few little things in a goodie bag and had this in here. So I'm going to try it out. I told her I'd give it a try and I'm, I've been using and this is new, but I've been using it a lot. This is that Clinique uh, Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Love it. So I'm kind of used to it and we're going to see how that applies because I was using my oval brush a lot. Usually with this foundation, it's on that big fat dofa applicator. I usually put uh, just a few little drops because it is a pretty uh, thick foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and use this flat side, I think is what you use. This side here, the flat side. We're going to try this out. And I think you just, is it glide it down, glide it? I know you glide it along somehow here. We'll see. I'm trying to see in the light here. It's different, that's for sure. Um, I will say the one thing I'm noticing though, can I use this side? Or do I have to use this side? One thing I'm noticing, unfortunately, is some of my deeper uh, acne pores are showing where it doesn't normally when I do with the brush. One thing you could tilt it this way and get it right down in through here by your nose, which is nice. I feel like I'll have to play with it for a little while. I'm not really sure what I'm thinking of it at the moment. Yeah, I forgot I could take it up here because it is like a concealer as well. Let's try again. Yeah, see when I when I first do this, it's it uh for me, I mean like some of y'all don't have the big pores I do or acne, you know, that I do. So I'm not sure if it's going to be so good for somebody uh, like, you know, like if you have acne problems like me or had an acne problems, I guess is what I want to say. I feel like the brush does do a little bit better, but I want to play with it for a while because it could be the foundation. I don't want to say it's this, you know what I mean? Like. It could be this foundation. I mean, I'm sure it's probably supposed to work with all. Do it work downward? Is that what it is? You know, like work along downward. I know there's a technique to this. It's just trying to remember it. Yeah. Okay, when I do it this way, when you're working it, like how your hairs would grow. I mean, I get rid of my peach fuzz, so I don't see it sticking to that, but. Okay, 
because you, you can see, I, you know, like I have acne scars. Um, it doesn't look too bad. I'll need to play with it a little bit more, you know, and play with it with other foundations to give a full review because I don't feel like, you know, um, I'm in between with it. I'm not quite really sure, but it's something different, unique, and I'm sure it takes a while to work with and try it out to really, you know, say what you like or what you think about it. I'll work down below on my eye area, which I think the eyeliner of choice, I'm going to use this one here. This one, I caught it nude. It's actually, what shade is this one? I think this is called Highlight. It's from the Silk Is Me um, L'Oreal uh, eyeliners. And this one's called Highlighter. I was calling it nude because, you know, it's kind of one of those ones that if you put it in your waterline, it makes your eyes open up more. On my lower lash line, I'm going to start off with that purple, uh, cranberry, plummy color, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my. Lights are flickering. And I know it's very windy. Yep, they're flickering here today. Okay, I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek Cupcake in with that. I'm gonna use that peach tone then. And I'm gonna put that more closer to the inner and work it in through. My face with my Revlon nearly naked. I try the Pure Minerals uh, bronzer, which I'm just going to get rid of that box. We'll see how well this works. I'm just going to do it real gently here though, because I don't want to look too harsh. That doesn't look too bad. It's working. I don't, with that one you'd have to watch because I think if you got to work with it too hard, it could look a little muddy, but it is a nice big bronzer. I got this in that boxy charm box, which my new one's on its way. Oh my goodness. I'm terrible. Cause like, yeah, I'll watch the other people. I'm like, why do I do that? Like, why don't I just let myself be surprised? You know? Okay, this is that vintage highlighter. I'm gonna go into the rose. Whoops, sorry. I'm gonna go into the rose. Uh, is it rose champagne? Rose quartz. They're calling it. I know a lot of them like do a very light. Maybe I'll dab in the other one. What the heck? Woo. <laughs> well, that one really. I'm just going to use my soft raspberry from Nally. This is from her face defender collection that she used to have. I don't think she has these anymore. She's changed up a lot of different things, but I do like this blush. I go up here too. And I guess that's the thing that a lot of people are going to be doing again is putting their blush up around there to shape their face. But I've always done that. That's the thing. But that's kind of what uh, I've done since in the 80s, 90s, something like that. I don't know. And usually what I do is I take a small stippling brush and kind of blend that all together a little bit. So if there is any harsh lines of that, I learned that from Nicole Guerrero. Okay, I'm going to try this new 
um, what is these? The Revlon HD. These new lipsticks from Revlon. They're like an HD lipstick. It's in number 705. Oh, for crying out loud. Here we go. Maybe. Is it? All right, first I'm gonna use my, what's this one called? Now I forgot already. The Buxom Dolly Danger. I bought these and this is a brush on one end and then the lip liners on the other end. So I'm gonna use this first to line my lips. It has a mintiness to it. You know how like a lot of their Buxom stuff do? So yeah. Now, a lot of times they'll say where your cupid's bow's at. You can connect them and then go straight across to make it look a little more fuller. I do it both ways. Sometimes it just depends on my mood. Today, I'm doing it that way, though, like where I'm just taking it straight across and uh, just to make it look a little bit more fuller. Okay, so now that I got my lips lined, I'm going to try this lip color. It's really pretty kind of does go along with the whole coloring that I used. Oh, mm. it has a cherry kind of smell. Is that what I want to say? A cherry smell? Some kind of bearish. It has some shine to it, as you can see. So I will be back. I'm going to do my mascara or my brows. Oh yeah, I popped off so quickly. I wanted to do the cover uh, FX, the light in the, uh, what is it? The illuminating setting powder. I love this stuff, guys. I'm telling you. And just buff it along real gently. Those are some of the products that I decided to go ahead and use and share with you guys to, so you could see how they applied on me. And then some things I just tried for the first time, like the um, silicone sponge that everybody's using, uh, this, and the lip product was a new thing. So the other products I have used at least uh, several different times, like the foundation, which I really love this foundation. It is a really good one, full coverage. A little goes a long way for that one. Uh, the palette, the Smashbox uh, Golden Hour palette, it's a pretty nice palette. I, th I like the colors in here. I think I had more um, higher expect expectations with some of these. The swatches aren't bad. You know, they do swatch really nice. Um, I don't have the Max Fix Plus. I know a lot of people will say, get the Max Fix Plus and, you know, that would really work great. But I do like the eye look. Let's put a little bit more of that purple in there. Huh. Maybe that will define it a little bit more. There we go. But yeah, really like a lot of the products, the silicone uh, blender. I'll have to play around with a little bit more because like I said, when you first, um, if you are somebody that has like, you know, large pores or like me, like, what I noticed, I have acne scarring and some of those areas where there's the scarring, it's, I felt like it, I mean, it's probably good that it's not sinking down in there, but it's not covering it over too well. It didn't cover it over too well at first, but now looking at it, I mean, probably by the time I put powder and all those different things, you know, um, it looks fine. You know, it looks, it looks fine now. Uh, maybe that's a good thing, you know, maybe that's a good thing that it's not settling into those areas like it would with a brush and all those different things. 
something to think about, I guess, really. So thank you, Carol, for sending me my goodies. I really, I really have been enjoying them. I got to play around with a few more things. Um, all right, beauties, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helped me out so much. And I'll just put a smile on my face. And um, also, if you are new to my channel, um, you know, you came from somebody else or somewhere, uh, please come and join me. You can hit the subscribe button down below and join me each week. And also, do not forget to hit the bell that's right beside there because that will actually notify you and let you know when my new videos do go up. If you can like to continue uh, seeing my videos or would like to see me do some reviews. I do a little of everything. So yeah, you can join me each week. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real be shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.